And the truth about his real parents is that his grandparents are his real parents. That's why he has such a big ass football ass head. <laughs> it's the result of a deformity because his grandparents or his real parents had him at such a late age. And you know, the older you are, the higher chance of like deformities and whatnot occur. So that's why he has such a big ass football. <laughs> that's why he has a big ass football head. Just because of deformity, because his parents or his grandparents had him late in life. Yo, what the fuck is up? It's Prince Charming. All right, guys, see, so I got for you a really interesting, really creepy video. So I hope you guys don't get the chills really easily because you're going to get the chills in this video. So many cartoon shows have like some hidden messages, hidden theories that you probably don't know about, but I'm going to reveal it to you today because, you know, Prince Charming always got y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all about 10 conspiracy theories about cartoons you probably don't know about. So smash that like button. Let's get 500 likes on this video. Subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know every single time I post. Comment right now. Do you know any cartoon conspiracy theories? I reply to all comments so comment right now all right guys let's debunk these conspiracy theories so the first one is all rugrats we all know this show is about babies who can talk but they can't talk to adults so it has tommy chucky phil lil angelica you know the whole gang so the way this conspiracy theory goes is that angelica is actually the only kid that really exists the rest of the rugrats are just a figment of angelica's imagination first of all chucky died a long time ago along with his mom that's why his dad Chaz is such a nervous wreck all the time tommy was a stillborn that's why his dad Stu is always in the basement making kids for the son he never had. The DeVilles, who are the family of Phil and Lil, they had an abortion. And Angelica never knew whether the baby was a boy or girl, so she just created boy and girl twins. And since all of them are just figment of Angelica's imagination, that's the reason why she's the only one that can talk to the babies and the adults. Because the babies don't exist. She's really talking to herself. She's talking to something she created. That's why the adults don't understand the baby, because they don't exist. All the adventures they go on, everything they do, it's all a part of Angelica's imagination. So yeah, this was a real creepy sad one just knowing that Angelica could very well just be crazy. The entire Rugrats show was just a result of a kid's imagination. Are you guys creeped out yet? Because we just started. We're going to go deeper. We're about to go deeper. You know Prince Charming only goes deeper. <laughs> so for the next one, we got Spongebob, a very classic show that a lot of y'all like. The way this goes is that Bikini Bottom was actually a result of nuclear explosion. They tested nuclear arms around this place called Bikini Atoll and under it is Bikini Bottom. So the entire Bikini Bottom is the result of radiation. And the characters are really just on drugs the entire time. See, Spongebob is on methamphetamines. That's why he's so ippity, energetic, always running around and shit. And whenever he's in a bad mood, that just means he's crashed. He just crashed off the methamphetamine. Patrick is a stoner. You gotta love Patrick. All, all Patrick do is just smoke weed, get high, eat food, repeat. That's why he's always under his rock. That's why he's always laughing. He's always eating. Has no job. He's a depiction of an average stoner. Squidward is really just on heroin. That's why he's always angry and yells at Spongebob whenever he's too energetic. Because people on heroin like quietness. They like to be chill people on heroin don't go running around and you know mr crab you know <laughs> mr crab he on that white powder see mr crabs he's on that baking soda he got baking soda mr crabs is on coke that's why he's so ippity and uppity and worried about money all the time because coke it's expensive. Ain't no Sandy Cheeks. She's just an alcoholic. That's why she ruins everything. She ruins every episode. Like, there's not one episode. Really? Uh, she's all right, but she just, she ruins a lot of shit. And that's what alcoholics do. They ruin shit. Okay, so this one's Hey Arnold, and this one's very debated. So the theory goes that Arnold's parents were never real. His grandparents only created that story, so he would never know the truth of his real parents. And the truth about his real parents is that his grandparents are his real parents. That's why he has such a big ass football ass head. <laughs> It's the result of a deformity because his grandparents or his real parents had him at such a late age. And you know, the older you are, the higher chance of like deformities and whatnot occur. So that's why he has such a big ass football. <laughs> That's why he has a big ass football head, just because of deformity, because his parents or his grandparents had him late in life. Okay, so this one's Scooby Doo, and this one's really interesting. So, the whole world of Scooby Doo is about a gang of people who solve crimes with their dog. But what many of y'all don't know is that the world of Scooby Doo takes place after an economic depression. That's why everything is falling apart, everything's broken, everything is dirty, everything is old. And the people that dress up as the villains or whatnot, those used to be very respected people, very respected professions, like doctors, lawyers, teachers, engineers, all those people. That's why they're so educated and so knowledgeable how to like set traps or like how to like scare people because they have the knowledge. And since the economic depression, they lost their jobs and it's just postpartum depression. When hard times come, everybody takes the fall. That's the point of this whole conspiracy theory. So whether or not that's true or not, I don't know because that one's kind of a reach. But still, nonetheless, it's very interesting to know. Okay, here's a very good one, the Flintstones. So the way this one goes is that the Flintstones 
doesn't actually take place in the past. It actually takes place in a post-apocalyptic future. It's like the 100 Adventure Time. It basically takes place after humanity has devastated itself. Flintstones aired during the Cold War, so it's highly believed that nuclear explosions pretty much devastated the world. And Flintstones are pretty much the post-apocalyptic future of it. So really, we're not looking in the past. Really looking in the future. Who knows? If there's a nuclear explosion, maybe dinosaurs will come back. We'll have to run in our cars and shit. Hopefully not. I really wouldn't want to do that, you know? I, I like plumbing. I like electricity. But that's one conspiracy theory that can actually happen in real life, guys. So next up, we got the Powerpuff Girls. So the way this one goes is that the Powerpuff Girls, there's not actually three of them. There's only one. And she doesn't actually have any superpowers at all. Really, the original Powerpuff Girl, if we can even call her a Powerpuff Girl still, she has multiple personality disorder. That's why the three original Powerpuff Girls have completely different personalities. And the reason why she suffers from multiple personality disorder is because she had an older brother that bullied her. Throughout her early childhood, she just constantly, constantly, constantly got bullied. So you know that kind of had an effect of her in life. So she manifested her older brother into a nemesis called Mojo Jojo, which I'm sure you all know about. That little evil monkey that keeps running around fucking shit up. Yeah, that's her older brother. That's why they constantly have to fight Mojo Jojo because that's her way of finally fighting against her older brother. So this one's Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and this one's creepy as hell. So you know how Ed, Ed and Eddie live in a cul-de-sac? You know, there's no really way to go through it. Conspiracy theory goes, is that that cul-de-sac is cursed so everybody that lives on the block is cursed doesn't age nothing like that they're stuck in their own little world it's like a purgatory level they can't die they can't create they can't do nothing they're just stuck there forever that's why they don't age that's why it seems like they keep doing repetitive shit because they don't know how to move on so whether or not that one's true is really creepy to me just because i used to love this show and it could be plausible it sounds plausible but as far as the show goes it's just a theory so it's not proven yet next up we got garfield and this is creepy as well so in our old garfield comic he suddenly wakes up in a abandoned house. He calls out for his dog brother Odie and his owner John, but they don't respond to him. And then slowly by slowly he loses himself back inside the house. So we have reason to think that they don't exist in the first place. He's actually just a stray cat in an abandoned house, just imagining the whole thing. He created the owner, his best friend, everything. And he's starving too, which makes the hallucination seem very real. So everything about his family, about his life, is just one long delusion. Hopefully Garfield can get some lasagna too, because I hate to see my boy delude. So up next we got Kurt is the cowardly dog so wait so the way this theory goes is that courage is just a normal dog he doesn't live in the middle of nowhere he has normal parents and everything it's just the fact that he lives with old people and old people tend to not usually go outside their home so courage never leaves his home so he doesn't know anything about the new world about the outside world so that's why whenever something outside comes in, he's always so shocked and new to it. Since he never seen it before, and since he's a dog, he kind of like twists it and kind of makes it more scary or more terrifying than what it really is. That's why his owners can never really see the true horrors in things, just because he's a dog and it's just new to him. The only thing he needs to be able to do is go outside more, and my boy Curse would be good. Dexter's Laboratory. This one's interesting. So the way this theory goes is that Dexter's Laboratory was never real. He created it all in his mind. Everything was created in his mind. He was socially awkward and didn't really have any friends. So he created it all just so he can have, you know, something to pass the time with. So he wouldn't feel lonely. So he'll feel like he's doing something important. That's why he has such a bizarre accent because it's all part of his imagination. The laboratory isn't real. That's why you always wondered, how can a big ass laboratory fit in that house? Well, cause it doesn't exist. So really my boy Dexter just needs to get him some friends. Maybe even a bad bitch, shit. <laughs> And for this last one, we have Aladdin. So in the beginning of the Aladdin movie, there's a merchant trying to sell a lamp. So the theory goes that the genie and the merchant are the same person. First, they're both voiced by Robin Williams himself. They both have a red sash, same facial hair, and everything. They're the only characters in the entire movie with four fingers. Even got the bushy eyebrows. Guys, these are twins here. So apparently after the genie became free, he decided he wanted to be a merchant and sell trinkets for a living. Why you would go from being a genie to selling trinkets? <laughs> I have no fucking clue. Maybe the genie wanted an easier life it's not easy being a genie it's not easy granting wishes you got a lot of people who want wants but not everybody has needs so maybe he just found a new way to sell people their wants or needs you know being a merchant it could be a fun job i used to be a salesman i can i know the kind of fun you can have by selling things so maybe he was looking for that thrill who knows you may even go deeper in you may even go deeper in and say that the merchant was really just trying to sell himself you know how when you're a salesman the most important thing is to be able to sell yourself maybe that's what he was aiming for but at the end of the day, this is still creepy nonetheless. Although this is a conspiracy theory I can get behind. Like, I can believe this to be true. 
all we need is the official creator say it's true and we're good but no guys those were some cartoon conspiracy theories that were pretty creepy and that may be real hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more conspiracy theories just let me know smash that like button let's get 500 likes on this video subscribe turn on your post notifications so you know every single time i post it's prince charming bitch catch you guys next time